Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Everybody. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Blessings and honor. Blessings and honor we give unto you. Receive our praise. Oh, receive our praise. Receive our praise. Blessings and honor. Blessings and honor. We give unto you, Lord. Receive our praise. 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 Okay, I see. Anastahili sifa na utukufu Mungu wetu anastahili sifa na utukufu Father we praise you, we glorify you Lord We honor you Jesus, you are great Unaweza inua sauti yako, tumuabudu buwana, subu hiya leo Just go ahead and begin to worship the name of Jesus Glorify the name of Jesus Bless you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Mumbai, 
yote mumbaji wa yote ya kinabingu tuna kuina mi inu wa mikono sema wa chabu wa chabu wewe wa chabu wa Fame wa wa fame, fame wa wa fame. Mwenye nzi tuna kuabu. Sema wa jabu, wa jabu. Wewe wa jabu. Nani 
yetu tuiname mbele zako na tuseme kweli wewe ni Mungu umeketi juu sana umejifika utukufu kweli wewe ni Mungu na dunia yote imejaa utukufu wako Asante baba yetu kwa kuweza kuja kutusikiliza baba yetu na kukubali dua zetu kukubali hata ibada yetu msiku ya leo baba yetu twasema asanti kwa wema na fadhili zako my god there is no one like you jehovah god you being god the creator of the whole universe the god who speaks the word and everything changes the god who holds the world in your hands you can stay in our midst you can listen to us you can incline your ears to us oh then you are god receive all the glory receive all the honor my father you don't always look at our iniquities you don't dwell on our sins my father why you to dwell on our sins why you to magnify our sins jehovah god we would not receive mercy but we thank you for this day jehovah god we have received your grace and we have found uh, mercy before us oh god be magnified jehovah god you are you are marvelous you are mighty in mercy you are in glorious in holiness my father you are faithful oh god who is like you who is like you among the gods there is none to compare with you you call on things that are not as though they are and you want us to believe that you want us to do like you do calling on things that are not as though they are so today we are blessed today we are healed today we have hope in the mighty name of jesus thank you for your presence god Thank you for what you have done in our families. Thank you for what you are still doing behind the scenes. Soon it is going to be manifest. Thank you for what you are doing in this church. Thank you for the old and the young in this church. We want to particularly thank you for our youths, oh God. You have taken care of them, my Father. You have brought them this far. Jehovah God, were it not for you, they would have been swallowed alive. Oh my Father, they have weathered the conspiracies of the enemy, and today they can stand and be counted among your children, among those who are called by your name. Thank you for these children, Jehovah. God as they press on as they strive even to worship you and to serve you even in hot weathers in hot elements in harsh elements sometimes it is too hot my god sometimes it is too cold sometimes it is raining but my father they are weathering it all they are striving they are pressing on jehovah god that they may be found worthy of your presence oh god it is the cry of my heart this day that you are going to remember our children in all their needs and in all their desires the desires that go with your perfect will and your good plans for them how i pray my father that you may unfold the good plans you have for our youth the good plans you have for each one of them that when the world and the community looks at them they will know yes there's a god in heaven and they will know it is not in vain to serve the lord have your way in them my father do them good jehovah god and when it is too hard for them when it is too hot for them release your power my father release your power and hold them by your gracious and righteous hand unless you do this my father they are going to fall they are going to go back they are going to make time they are going to stagnate but jehovah god you are faithful remember each one of them my father when the enemy rises up against them lift up a standard for them and my father let them fight to the end fight their battles for the battles belong to you jehovah god let there be holiness on the pulpit my father and wherever they go let us show the, let them show the face of a god fearing lord may you be there for them 
help even the old. Sometimes uh, it comes with weaknesses, it comes with fatigue. And when we get tired and fatigued, my father, come and lift up a standard for us that we may continue pressing on. That Jehovah God, when we are old and all gray-haired, when we cannot walk properly anymore, my father, you are not going to forsake us. You are not going to abandon us until we tell your goodness to this and to the next generation in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you this morning. Thank you this day for your faithfulness. Thank you so far, Jehovah God. We have seen you. We have heard you since we came here in the morning. We have heard your doctrines. We have heard your oracles. My Father, be there for us. Continue with us, Jehovah God, as we sit in this service to hear your oracles through your servant, oh, servant, oh God. May your anointing continue to be upon him, that he may deliver what you have equipped him in, what you have given unto him, that he may give it, give it to us, my Father, that the man of God may be well equipped even for good works. Thank you this morning. Thank you for all who have come, my Father. One thing I pray and I desire and I believe is that none of us will walk back home the way we entered here, my Father. We are in different levels. We are in different situations. Some of us have no hope. Some of us are pressed down. Some of us are hurt from all sides. Some of us feel besieged and surrounded. But my Father, we have one thing in common. We have you, O oh God. And you are not a respecter of situations. There is no situation that is beyond your power. Jehovah God, come and take over. Take control. All the situations that are pulling us down, all the situations that have come to discourage us, oh my Father, be there for us. Behold, you are our God. You are our Father. You are everything that we desire. You are everything that we need. Have your way in our lives. Have your way in our families. Have your way in this ministry. Have your way here where we call home, away from home, oh God. I want to thank you for the leadership of this church. I thank you for everybody that calls this home. My Father, may there be none of us that will be discouraged. May there be none of us that will be disappointed. May there be none of us that will fall along the way. Hold us by your gracious, righteous hand, my Father, that we may continue walking to the end and the end of time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything. We know you have something for each one of us. And as we sit to hear Jehovah God, I know we are not going to be disappointed. And it will not be the same again. Jehovah God, this is a turning point. And as your servant rises up over, oh, Father, to speak your oracles, may it be done according to your will. And in accordance with your works and with your plans, may your name be glorified by all this. O oh, King of, the of all the glory, we need you here and beyond in everything, my Father, in our children, in our families, in our extended families, in our communities, even in our villages, in our neighborhood, my Father. We pray that you may be found faithful, for you are our God. We praise you, O oh God. We magnify you, for it is in Jesus' name that we pray. And the church says amen. Church says amen. amen. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Are you happy this morning? Are you happy in the presence of the Lord? Are you expectant that it is not in vain that you came? Do you believe me when I say that you will not walk out the way you walked in? We were reminded in the other services that none of us is perfect. None of us has it all. We come here because we need the Lord. Even the best of us. Even when you are walking on cloud nine, you still need God. And when you are down, have hope in that God is able. He loves you. He cares for you. He has something for each one of us. Hallelujah. Welcome to our third service. This is the third service. I wish you were there for second service. But I know the same God who delivered is here with us. And is going to speak through the mouth of his servant. So it is not in vain that you came and you are blessed because you came. As you sit, I would like to see by show of hand, if you are here for the first time, the rest of us can sit momentarily before I ask you to stand again. But I would like to recognize anybody who came here 
and for the very first time you are in this sanctuary hujafika hapa siku nyingine leo ndio siku yako ya kwanza kuja kuabudu pamoja na Shekina Glory Celebration Center are you there and you have never been here before i would like to see the show of hands so that we welcome you we are not going to ashamed you we are not going to frustrate you we just want to see the show of hands my sister i go further and request you to stand so that we can see you well and so that we can also uh, welcome you our style we have a style we have a mode of welcoming people here please stand up so that we can see you well so we can see you better somebody can hug you somebody can elbow you somebody can give you a fist in the mighty name of jesus you can join them oh yes we have others there amen wale wako karibu wawasalimie Welcome to Shekina Glory. To some of you, house of prayer. To Salibie, Shekina Glory. Welcome to the house of prayer. Welcome to Shekina Glory. Welcome to Asante asante wageni wetu tumewakaribisha sana tunawapenda Here we lift up Jesus he draws men and women to himself we love visitors the extent that we would like to see you after this we would like to know you better we would like you to know us who knows you can make this home we can fellowship together na mmekaribishwa hapa sana lakini wakati tutamaliza ibada msiende tu kuna mmoja our representative will be there for you atasimama na nyinyi atauliza maswali kadhaa over a cup of something or a glass of something ah uh, masi mama stella haya huyo sasa ndio wageni mnaona huyu mnaona huyu dada wa Yesu do you see the servant of god huyo ndio mtatoka na yeye wakati ibada itaisha na mtakuwa na wakati mzuri na mmekaribishwa tena na tena next sunday you can come come with another visitor who knows this might be your future home amen na mungu awabariki sana 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 tuwapigie makofi kwa sababu ya kuja we don't take visitors for granted when i was growing up my mom kept on reminding us mgeni ni baraka bwana asifiwe you don't know what they come with na mgeni ukifika hapa hapa ni home usisikie kama ni mahali tu ulienda hapa ni nyumbani umekaribishwa unapendwa eh and you are highly valued in the mighty name of Jesus amen again once again tumewakaribisha sana na mase will be there for you when we are through with the service tutatoka tu na handbag yako kama wewe umebeba handbag na tutatoka na yeye wakati huo ukifika mase atasimama na mtamfuata tena atasimama tena na mtamfuata so we start with a standing ovation i request each one of us to stand as we welcome the father of this house the vision carrier we have chosen to praise shall call for to show his excellence all i require
Amen. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Apigia makofi hawa pendwa. Amen. Hallelujah. Eh, tunakuwa. Hatukui. Tata unapoketi. Tasama mwenzako. Umuambie. Umebarikiwa na buwana. Muambie umebarikiwa. Amen. Hallelujah. Eh. Na kama huko nyuma sana. Usikai nyuma sana. Songa songa kama kuna kiti. Kilicho bere yako. Ukipata kiti. Ambacho kiko bele yako. Tafadhali. Sisi ni jamii moja tunataka kuongea. Tunataka kuongea leo katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Yeah. Pick uh, today. Actually we started in first service. We actually learning on the benefits of being in a local church. Benefits of being in a local church. Na tuliangalia huta what a local church is. Tukakuta uh, is, a, is, a, is a location where Christians gather to pray and worship even as a fellowship or a community. Yeah, especially where believers gather together and pray together. They worship God together. Tukajifunza juu ya the functions ambazo sitapatikana mahali pare. Unakuta ni pahari ya papo, tukienda, tutajifunza neno, kama mkate wa uzima, tukiingia pale, kuna worship, kuna neno, kuna holy communion, kuna baptism, yeah? kuna baptism to the Holy Spirit, all those are some of the factions, kuna dedication pia watoto, mambo kama yare anafanyika kwa Roku Church. Marriages, you know, sina fanyika pare kwa roko church. Aha. Sasa, tukajifunza mambo mingi juu ya anointing ambaye inakuwa katika roko church. Ya kwamba katika pare roko church, ndiyo tuna, tunatumwa inje. Tunatumwa inje katika roko church. Katika roko church, tukajua ya kwamba ni pahari ambapo ukaingia ukiwa mwojwa, unatoka ukiwa mepona ukaingia ukiwa na udhaifa inafrani ama na mambo yote ambayo uko nayo hapa kuna kuwa bwana ameashiria anointing you know corporate anointing hapa ya uponyaji you know kama local church we are talking about local church na tukaweka umuhimu sana kuwa members wa local church ukawa katika wewe uko member wa local church hujapotea ni pahari pako na mambo mazuri pahari pako na mambo mazuri ni pahari utaajibika ni pahari hakuna pahari umetoka kule nje umepata shida you know ukija mahali hapa bwana anakutana na, na na shida zako kwa hivyo roko church ni pahari pazuri sana sa kujiuhusisha kujiu so you need to be a member of a roko church hii yetu ni roko church amen na mambo makubwa sana yanaanza roko church vipawa vinachipuka katika roko church ni mambo mazuri sana na chibuka katika local church. Katika local church kuna unakuja saa zingine ukiwa umedhoofika, unakuja saa zingine ukiwa na shida, local church tunakuombea na una na unapata uh, kuinuliwa. Sasa benefits ambazo tuliona ya kwanza ni you will enjoy fatherhood. Eh, you will enjoy fatherhood. Katika local church kuna wazazi ambaye Mungu ameinua na kuwapea kuweka katika kile kiwango ili waonyeshe upendo kama Kristo mwenyewe. Amen. Kwa hivyo katika local church yetu there is a father, there is also a mother. Kuna hao parents ambao wako na na Mungu anawasaidia wale parents ndipo wakaenda kuonyesha upendo huo wa Kristo. Hmm? Ukiwa umedhoofika kule nje, ukiwa umeumia kule nje, eh, utaenjoy fatherhood hapa. Utapata upendo utapata kunyweshwa utapata utapata eh, kulishwa you know na unasikia sawa sawa na sisi sote tukajua ya kwamba sisi we are we are this is a frock na tukajua frock hiyo iko na mchungaji physical mchungaji ambaye anaakilisha Yesu na ikawa sasa yule shepherd ama 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 father ndiye anashunga hivyo 
na ako na upendo huo na Mungu anaendelea kumsaidia ili aende kuonyesha upendo ule. Tu you know ninapitia ni pitia kwa sababu tulisema tutaendelesha. Tuta, we, we will continue. We will continue in second service. Amen. Sasa ya pili ndio tuli lakini hii ni vizuri nitaje ndio niendelee. Nikasema the Hebrew word that is given for a, a local church or local assembly is kaha. Q A H A L. Kaha. Kaha is actually is a Hebrew word for the local church or local assembly. Alafu eh, the Greek word given is ecclesia which is which means a gathering of people or community gathering of people or community hallelujah hapa pahari huko hmm? hapa pahari huko ndio hiyo kaha mm-hmm. hapa ndio hiyo ecclesia called out ones na tukagudua ya kwamba katika those called out ones hapa hakuna vidara hakuna crisis hapa na ni lazima nitaje hiyo ndio niende hiyo ingine hakuna vidarasa hakuna crisis hapa biblia inasema walipojaswa na roho eh? haikuwa ina ha, ha, you know walijaswa na roho kwa hivyo sasa eh, watu walikuja kutoka bari na karibu hakukuwa muyunani hakukuwa hakukuwa mu muhibru wote wakawa ni kitu kimoja mahali hapa hakuna vidarasa ya kwamba wewe wewe umetoka hapa ama hakuna ukabira wewe umeenda hapa na ah, sisi wote ni kitu kimoja sisi ni wa, wote ni wana wa Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Si zote ni wana wa Mungu na tunaajibika. Mahali hapa hautaonekana mdogo, mkubwa, mnono, mfupi, anakana mna gani. Sisi zote tukija hapa tumebatiswa. Tumebatiswa kuwa sisi ni watoto. <laughs> Amen. Sisi ni watoto. Eh? Ama tukijiita hata kodoo wa Yesu Kristo, hmm? hakuna kodoo anakaa si kodoo. Zote ni kodoo. Ambia mwezako mimi ni kodoo. Haleluya. Kwa hivyo hakuna kodoo yenye inaendesha gari kubwa kuchida ile ingine. Wewe acha kule nje. Hapa tunakuja sisi ni kodoo. Hatujali vile ulikujaga. Hatujali vile ulisaliwa. Hatujali ulitoka wapi? Hatujali unaendesha baiskeli ama mkokoteni ama unaendeshwa. Hatujali. Amen. Hapa ni kanisa la Yesu Kristo ambapo sisi sote tuko sawa sawa tuko sawa sawa angalia mwezako mwanzako muambie haijerishi umetoka wapi wewe ni ndugu yangu ama wewe ni dada yangu haijerishi haleluya hapa tumeshikanishwa na upendo wa Kristo namna hii na tukasema kama umefika pahali umeona wewe hutosheki katika koloko church kama hii tukuombe kwa sababu kiburi kimekushika na utaaguka Ukiona wewe yani zitoshei hapa hawa watu ni buri kanyangalika hai hai <laughs> ujua wewe unaenda utaanguka kwa hivyo utukuombe si kazi yetu ni kuombea mtu aki akijinua inuaga namna hiyo si zote sawa sawa Charles si zote ni sawa sawa sisi ni kodoo wa ye sasa tukasema in the local church you will enjoy fatherhood ya pili tukasema in the local church you enjoy not you enjoy you will get genuine friendship hapa ndio utapata genuine friendship lakini lakini nimesema ya kwamba hapa eh, tumeshikanishwa na upendo kabla tujaenda tumeshikanishwa na nini na upendo huyo upendo wa Yesu Kristo lakini tukasema biblia inasema ya kwamba ni lazima tuheshimiane first timothy 5:12 mm tuheshimiane tunaheshimiana tuna mimi ninakuheshimu na wewe unaniheshimu Eh? Kama, kama, kama baba unaona baba wa kimo ni yeye ye, ye, ni mkubwa kushida wewe huyo unamuita baba si ndio wewe ukiona mama ambaye ni mkubwa kukuliko huyo ni mama unamuita mother semeni mother ukiona mzee ambaye ni mkubwa kukuliko huyo unamuita father ukiona watu mko lika moja unamuita brother ama unamuita sister hizo ni heshima ambazo haziko siku hizi zimetokomea na zimeenda lakini tutarudisha hapa 
Tafadhali tuheshimiane. Mimi ni kuheshimu na wewe ni heshima. Ukiona mzee, una mzee kukushida? Na nikapeana example ya eh, wale watu wazee kulini kwa hapa. Uh, ameenda. Eh, you know, baba, you know, I mean. Eh, sijui kama wengine unajua. Unajua at least eh amenishinda miaka kama kumi. Huyo mzee. Sasa namuita baba. Ate? Benzo, nana inaweza saidi ya miaka kumi. Namuita baba. Eh? Okay? Haya. Waje tuone for example, eh? Kid kanene. Huyo utamuita dada yangu. Anaweza kuwa dada katika Yesu, lakini kwa kiheshima utamuita aje? Mada. Yeah. Yeah. Hiyo ni heshima ambayo tutaheshimiana hapa. Kwa sababu tumekosa, tumekosa heshima kabisa kabisa tumekosa heshima. Unakuta mzee eh amesimama kwa matatu hata anataka kulala na vijana wameshikilia pale. Ni makosa, si ndio? Lakini hapa ndani wewe kwa matatu unaweza kaa vile unaweza kaa. Lakini uweze kujua ya kwamba wokovu ni hapa na nje. Tuheshimiane hapa na tuheshimiane nje. Ukiona mzee 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 muondoke wewe uko na mizuri na nguvu. Amen. Amen. Hizo ndio heshima ambazo zinatakana. Tuheshimiane. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. You know I'm coming if we, we saw in, in another country we went. Ya kwamba kama wewe ni over 60 wewe hata unaondokewa jia. Hata kwa chakula unapewa na credit. Uta, Utaongezwa unaambiwa 10% naondolewa. Lakini hapa kwetu hakuna. Because culture inaharibu. Mungu atusaidie kanisani tuwe na culture ya binguni. Hapa katika Roko Church tuwe na culture ya binguni ya kupendana moja na mwingine na kuheshimiana. Hata sisi wazee tunaheshimu wa wadogo na wadogo nao wanatuheshimu. Amen. It is a win-win situation. Amen. Hiyo ni, ni, ni niona ni mzuri ni, niongeze. Um, I love you to song a better. So the other one Number two, number one tulisema you rejoice fatherhood number two tumesema tulisema ya kwamba in the local church is a place you find genuine 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 friendship genuine friendship and genuine friendship example yenye imepeanwa kwa biblia ni ile ya Ruth na nani na Naomi ya Ruth na Naomi ndio ndio example nzuri ambayo imeonyeshwa mahali pale iko katika Ruth 1 you know Uh, 16 to 18 ambaye alisema where you go i will go and where you stay i will stay eh? your people will be my people and uh, your god my god where you die i die huyo die dugu huyo unamwangalia hapo angalia mwenzako hapo muambie mimi nakupenda haleluya na upendo wa Yesu Kristo huyo 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 unaona wewe bila kuwa wewe bila kuwa hapo katika home local church eh ni kusema kwamba hiyo local church is not complete tunaajibika namna hiyo we belong to one another we are a blessing to one another mimi nikiweko ni baraka yako unaniona na wewe ni baraka yangu we bless one another like that You can never be a rock church without a brother or without a sister. So we need to cultivate gen, genuine genuine friendship. Tuwe rafiki moja na mwingine. Tujuane mpaka na na majina. Wacha uone sasa hii rock church. Unajua huyo ako karibu na wewe anaitwa nani? Inua mkono kama unajua mwenzako yule. Unamwona eh, ni vile mlika hapo. Sasa angalia angalia hamujuani hata nini hata majina na yet roko church is a fellowship where ni lazima tujuane majina wewe unijue na mimi nikujue ndio niweze kukuita eh eh ndio niweze kukuita eh? eh sister lucy naona niita eh hiyo amen si namna hiyo so genuine leadership has to be cultivated in the church hakuna pahari pengine unaweza kuwa na genuine 
genuine friendship. Kuna genuine friendship ingine ambayo iko kwa Biblia ambayo ilikuwa na Daudi na nani? Daudi na Jonathan. Eh? Jonathan alikuwa awe king. Lakini alipeana kingship yake kwa nani? Kwa dugu yake. Kwa sababu aliangalia kipawa. Akaona yeye si hana kipawa ya nini? Ya kuwa mfalme. Akaona Daudi ndiye amepakwa awe nini? Mfalme. Akamuondokea na akamsupport na akasimama naye ndiye awe nini? Awe mfalme. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tunaelewana hapa ni pahari ambapo ki, kipawa chako ni baraka kwangu na kipawa chako changu ni baraka kwako. Na bila hiyo hata mbinguni utaiona ngo utazikia watu waliendaga mbinguni. Kwa sababu you did not recognize the gift of God in my life. You didn't want it. Ukasema utaweza. Hakuna mtu anaweza. Eh? Kwenda binguni ama kwenda hii safari hii bila mwenzake. That's why you should cultivate genuine leadership. Uh, no, genuine friendship na rafiki yako. Huyo hapo hapo. Huyo unamuona hapo. Fu, fungua macho yako kama umefunga. Eh? Umuangalie vizuri. Umwambie wewe ni baraka yangu. Mwambie hivyo. Mm, ajua ukisema hivyo ni sawa. Huyo unaona huyo. Huyo unaona. Kwa hivyo katika ushirika ni vizuri tujue ya kwamba bila wewe mimi sitaenda mbinguni. Bila wewe kuna pengo katika mwili wa Kristo. Bila wewe loko church haijakamilika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Semeni amen. Haijakamilika. Hmm? Kuna mtu anafagia mahali hapa na anapafanya pale pasafi kabisa bila yeye ukiingia utakuwa mgonjwa wa homa amen kama hakumnguta hapa na humuoni ataka na humuoni huyo kipawa chake kinakusaidia usikuwe mgonjwa wa homa tunaelewana ndio uwe hapa kuna huyo mwingine ambaye ni muombesi na wewe anataka kuomba macho yako yanakuwa na fellowship lakini yeye anaweza omba na rara hapa muheshimu huyo tuheshimiane ndugu yangu hapa kuna mtu analalaga akiomba tukiingia tunasikia haya kulikuwa kana nini kama umelewa mahali hapa iko anointing kali huyo alilala hapo muheshimu uwezi labda mjua mwenye anasimama pale ana smile huyo ni rafiki yako mfurahie huyo Mwana anakuambia songa songa kama kuna kiti iko hiyo hiyo huyo Asha na unamuomba bahaja anakupea wewe ukija hapa labda hata ujui sinakaaga wapi sasa katika nyumba ya Bwana iko na oda na hiyo oda inategenezwa na wewe na mimi kama wewe ni memba wa kanisa hili memba chipwa memba wa hii local church inua mkono wako amen kwa hivyo ninaongea na wale members na members ni mtu amejaza form na ninamjua na tumefanya covenant na yeye form ya membership unajasa namba yako ninajua najua mpaka hata kwako haja kujificha amen bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kuna watu wanajificha wengine lakini sasa uweje jificha baba yako mpaka akujue mpaka mjuane tunaelewana mpaka you know mambo kama sasa hapa ndio unapata utapata Jonathan eh angalia dugu aliye karibu na wewe Umwambia you are my Jonathan. Haya pinduka kwa huyo mwingine naye umwambia you are my David. Haleluya. Huo ndio urafiki. Urafiki tunatakana kuwa nao. Usiangalie yule mwingine unasema mm, ametoka eh yeah, ametoka ametoka nyalukunga sijui mwingine ametoka wapi. Hiyo ni upusi. Wacha nikwambie hiyo ni upusi. Eh? Na ni kacheche na ni siasa ya chachi na hiyo itafanya binguni tuziingie pale kwa sababu binguni hakuna wanyalokuga hakuna wa kutoka ni wapi buzia kando eh eh kakamea eh, eh? na kugina miji mi kenda na sijui kama kuna kwa na miji kumi. so you know hizo vitu zote hizo ni vitu vya dunia majina hii mambo ya dunia lakini tukiingia hapa sisi tumeoshwa na damu ya Yesu Kristo. Sisi hata tumebadilishwa jina tukiingia hapa. 
tunaitwa kodoo Ambia mweza kwa mimi nikiingia hapa niko kodoo Waje kujipea majina makubwa mengine ni ngiri wewe ni kodoo Haleluya Na mimi ni kodoo Mimi ni kodoo Unaona kodoo ukitaka kuona kodoo anakaa kama mimi Nakaa hivi lakini waache usikie hiyo kodoo jina yake imeandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima. Eh. Hey. Hiyo kodoo unaona hapa, eh? Si kodoo tu ile unacheza naye. We are actually in the frock of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeye die, yeye die, die chief shepherd wetu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ndipo sasa sasa wewe kama unaendesha magari makubwa, hapa wewe ni kodoo. Amen. Ama madogo ama siju umetoka wapi? Ije ishi umetoka wapi? Hizi vitu zote ni za dunia. Ambia mwenzako sina sina kaaga hapa hizo. Hizo vitu hizo vitu muna, mtu anajigamba naye inakaaga kwa hii dunia. Lakini sisi si wa hii dunia. Ambia mwenzako mimi naenda mbinguni bwana. Hizo vitu zitafuruta wewe usiende mbinguni. So we need we need to know that here we will in the rock assembly You know, the only place you can find genuine, genuine friendship. Ambia mweza kwa, eh, hata mina ataka lafiki. Ni wangana nani ataki lafiki? Yani, we utaki? Amen. Hapa ni pahari tunataka marafiki. Kure inje wana kuchekerea. Kure inje wana kuchengenya, wana kuchekerea, wana sema ya ni bule, wana ni kanyangalika, wewe hata una unakaa kama asubuhi yani mambo kama hapo lakini ukiingia hapa ndugu anakuangalia anakuambia you are free and wonderfully created haleluya na tunasonga bere hapa ni pahali unachapavu hata pale kazini ukija hapa ne? tuna pamba pamba tunaweka odorono tunaweka mafuta anointing kidogo hapo namna hiyo unakaa sawa sawa amen hapa pahali unache kukichekewa kule nje hapa unakuja unakuwa embraced na upendo wa Yesu Kristo. Hapa tunapendana. Hapa, hapa ni pahali ukija ukiwa mgojwa ukitoka mahali pale kumbe ni kliniki ya Yesu. Hapa. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri kujihusisha na local church. Nilisema asubuhi ukisema loko kuna watu wengine wanasema loko. Oh loko. Ah mimi si mtu loko. Eh kuna watu wanasema si watu roko na mimi nakwambia hapa roko hapa hapa roko ndio baada kusaidia kwenda nje huko kwenda Maulaya kwenda huko kwenda wapi na nikasema si kanene yako hapa kanene ni roko kanene we si roko na si ulikuwa eh, 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 Netherlands bas hapa roko hapa hapa ndio baraka zina zinaenda zinaenda kwa watoto na watoto watoto wako Local church jihusisha na local church nguvu zinatoka hapa baraka zinatoka hapa sema amen. amen genuine friendship hata ukitaka mke mzuri hakuangi nje kwa ba anakuwa hapa 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 hagai hmm? hakuwa hapa hmm? hapa hmm? you only need to look around you get her haleluya Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. You don't have. Eh? Hata wewe kanene. Si unaenda tu huko ngambo, ulinfurahisha huko leta kutoka huko. Amen. Eh? Wako hapa. Genuine wives. Genuine husband wako hapa. Amen. And that is a benefit, a benefit. Na hatuchokagi kushikanisha mmoja kona hii na kona ile ingine. Tunashikanisha. Hatu hatuogopi. Ambia mwanzako hatuogopi. Genuine leadership is a place where people value one another. This is a place where we value one another. It doesn't matter how weak, how strong, how desperate. It doesn't matter. Lakin hapa we value one another. When you come here, hapa you are variable. Not even to us, even to the Lord Jesus Christ. We are variable. This is a place where you are, you are beautiful. Ah, you come here, hapa where you are beautiful. Beautiful, fearfully and wonderfully created. Haijalishi hata kama mume wako anakugo, anakupigaga hapa. Hakuna mume wako kukupiga. <laughs> hapa 
tunakuembrace kwa upendo wa Bwana. Haijarishi what where what you have gone through. Number three, hapa kuna opportunities local church opportunities to help or to get help. Ni hapa. Hallelujah. James 1. James 1. 26 to 27 to 27 if anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but receives his heart this person's religion is worthless wacha nisome ya he if anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his heart his own heart this one religious is the region is useless the other first 27 aha uh-huh. pure and undefiled religion before god and the father is this face the orphans everybody say face the orphans and the widows in their trouble and keep and to keep oneself unspotted from the world unspotted unspotted from the world sasa wacha niwaambie hapa katika rock church bahari kanisa lilianza biblia inasema they had everything in common hakukuwa kitu ya mwingine they had everything in common biblia inasema they sold their possessions wakachukua mmoja wakamtuma na zile those possessions kama kuna mmoja alikuwa na jaa kati yao walimpea walimpea chakula sema amen kama kulikuwa na mmoja kati yao ambao anaugua wote walienda kumuona wote wanamshughulikia na biblia inasema sasa tena you visit the orphans and the widows hapa wakati kuna widows tunawashughulikia suppose kuwashughulikia sema amen kama kuna watu you know in trouble widows ni gani wajane tunawashughulikia tunachughulikia orphans hapa katika local church na biblia inasema and keep and to keep one unspotted from the world ukichafanya hivyo usiende kufungua eh usiende kusema ha, hallelujah unaona Unaona huyu dada ile nguo nyeupe amefaa? Ni mimi. <laughs> Haleluya. Unaona yule dugu, yule dugu, unaona ile suti ya blue? Ile ya blue unaona? Ni mimi. Pole kabisa. Hiyo haitakani. Kaa naye. Hey! Kama utapea mtu alafu unaonyesha watu. <laughs> That is pride of the first order. Haipatikani mbinguni. Unajua acha nikueleze. Yale mambo ambayo tunafanyia hapa katika Rocko Church. And they depict a picture of heaven. Usipea mtu utamwaibisha sana. Hata anaweza enda kuchoma. Ukipoa nguo na mtu alafu ameita watu yote amewaambia ile nguo ile. Hiyo hiyo. Unaona hiyo 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 hiyo. Mimi ndio nilitoa. Sasa hiyo eh afadhali usigefanya nini usigempea sasa sisi hapa local church tunachughulikia wenzetu kama uko na shida hiyo yeah, utachughulikiwa lakini utachughulikiwa namna gani na wewe si member wewe si member wa church utajulikana mambo yako namna gani katika ushirika you have to be a member katika ushirika huu unaingia katika ushirika sawa sawa kuna ushirika wa nyumbani ujihusishe na ule ushirika wa nyumbani Eh ujihusisha na huu ushirika wa hapa. Amen. Ndio kama kuna shida upate kusaidika. Kama umefiwa, eh sisi tunakuja pale kukuombea. Kama wewe ni mgonjwa, tunakuja pale. Tuna, tunakuja pale kuhusika na wewe. Huenda tushidwe mambo mingi, lakini tutakuwa pale tuketi na wewe wakati roho yako hmm? imefanya nini? I, iko chini, tuko pale kusimama na wewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. We offer comfort. You are my our brother. You know, you are our sister. We come there to to stand together with you, especially when you are in trouble. Hiyo ndio Rocko Church. Amen. 
Ambia mweza kwa siku ujua ni hivyo. Hmm. I, loko cha chini hiyo. Loko cha chini kuja, ati una worship, na ni sawa kuja ku worship na kuenda. Lakini jihusiche na, na roko cha chini. Diposa, any time you have any problem, you... You, you, kutawa, kuna watu watakuja at least kuna watu wataoba na wewe unasikia gaji wakati uko chini unasikia simu simu ya rafiki yako akikuambia i know what you're going through but i'm praying together with you unasikiaje wakati uko chini namna hiyo unasikia simu tu simu peke yake hello hello i we have heard what happened but we are praying together with you it is like oxygen in fact hiyo ina nisaidi ya pesa Sawa sawa. Bas, unasikiaje wakati uko na mashida hiyo yote Diana? Na hakuna mtu hata mmoja. Hata mmoja amekupia angaka simu kukujulia hali. Unasikiaje? You, you feel you don't belong. Lakini si shida ya, ya si shida yetu, ni shida yako. Kwa sababu unataka kuja pale mwisho, unakaa, ukiona pasta anakuangalia. Ba Thank God hapa ni raised naona kila mtu hapa ni raised amen that's the way it is amen na nakwambia ni vizuri ujulikane ambia mweza kwa ujulikana eh usijifishage namna hiyo watu wengi wanatakaka hivyo wasijulikane wanatokaka wapi nani yako na haja we are brothers and sisters sisi hatuna haja na bahari unakaaga sana roho yako ndio iko muhimu sana eh kwa Mungu Na ni vizuri tukikutana hapa tuonane tuongee usijifishe Amen Usipate shida peke yako Eh yeah, believe as wale Ronnie Rogers wanaumiaga sana Ronnie Rogers Ah Ronnie Rogers yani hataki hata dugu yake ajue wakati shida itaingia ndio utajua dugu wako dugu katika Yesu anasaidia Kwa hivyo mimi nasema hivi Wewe ni memba who is a member? Yes. Good. Mimi naona iko sawa. Hii kanisa hii ni sawa sawa. Hii service iko na watu wengine memba. So James ali, aliogea hayo mambo ambayo ameongea. Kwa sababu James James alibakiki alibakiki wapi? James alibaki Jerusalem. Katika Jerusalem kulikuwa na persecution nyingi. Kwa hivyo kulipatikana wajane wengi. Kulipatikana hata na orphans wengi mahali pale na ilikuwa ni haja ya kanisa ni kazi ya kanisa ni responsibility ya kanisa kushughulikia nini ma orphans kushughulikia widows na sasa nikwambie ni, ni kazi ya church kufanya namna hiyo kuna taratibu lakini hiyo ni kazi ya local church kushughulikia wajane kushughulikia you know widows eh, wajane eh, kushughulikia orphans na watu kama hao kwa hivyo ni vizuri unajiadikisha jina yako unachukua form unajasa amen unajasa hiyo form ukijasa hiyo form tunajua jina yako tunajua umetoka wapi eh mimi nakupigia simu unasikiaje mtu mwingine nilipigia simu akalia sana akalia sana nilipata simu pahari nikaambiwa pigia huyu mtu simu nikampigia simu akalia sana Akaniambia guy pastor amenipigia simu sijapi aipigiwa simu na mtu mwingine hapa pastor anachukua simu anakupigia Amen Ye yeah. usione kama ni kitu kikubwa ukiandika ukijaza form pastor atakupigia simu atakuita mnaketi na yeye mnasungumza mnaomba unafungua roho yako mnaomba pamoja Amen Hii hii hapana dini. Hii hapana dini. Hii si dini. Hii ni roko church. Amen. Unajua dini ni pahali kuna bureaucracy ndio upate pastor. Mpaka hata anaitwa majina makubwa. Na ofisi yake haitu ofisi inaitwa vicarage. Msinishike vibaya. Kwa hivyo vicarage wewe ingia tu namna hii, lakini kwa ofisi yangu utaingia tu. Open door policy. Hii ni local church. Kuja ukiwa na shida. Kuja. Ambia mwezako kuja. Haleluya. Tunaelewana watu wa Mungu. Eh, ya tatu ni ya nne. Ya nne local church ni pahali utapata accountability. Kila mtu aseme accountability. 
accountability kwa sababu kule nje hakuna accountability hapa kuna mtu atakuuliza swali akuuliza he na siku hizi hao watu natembea nao ni nani accountability you, you know kuna mtu you know you, you feel accountable hata we mwenyewe utasikia you are accountable ukiingia mahali pale you know utaangaliwa watu watajua wewe watakuangalia na waweza kukuuliza mtu wa Mungu ungali unaenda mbinguni kuna mtu atakukuta pahali fulani akuulize akuone ile hali unakaa akualie dugu siku hizi namna gani na mimi nakwambia hiyo ni ya maana sana kama tunaenda mbinguni ni wangapi wanaenda mbinguni bas kama wewe unataka kwenda mbinguni Loko chachi ni pari pazuri kwa sababu dugu yako akikukosa atakupigia simu akuuliza eh hey, siku hizi sikuonagi ibada accountability sawa sawa atakuona pahali unatembea vibaya anakuambia eh hey, niliona uh, uh, marafiki umepata marafiki lakini hao ulikuwa unatembea nao nilikuwa naona kama ni walefi you know as me sawa sawa kuna accountability ukiwa katika katika loko church mtu mmoja aliniambia tukiwa bible school akaniambia eh wewe uniangalie na mimi unia wewe uniangalie na mimi kuangalia ukiona nikienda mlama unishaidie na mimi nikiona ukienda mlama unishaidie kwa hivyo <laughs> kwa hivyo eh loko church ni pahari unaweza kuwa na rafiki tulisema anaitwa genuine friend ambaye utamtaomba pamoja naye unamuita Unamuita nani? Anaita waje. Unapata prayer party na hapana prayer hapana pata prayer party na kutoka kituamba. Prayer party na unapata hapa. Ndiye akiona wewe unaenda mbugu moja nje kando atakwambia. Eh? Pahari akiona weakness weakness yako ata atakuonyesha hii weakness hii hii hi, si mzuri bali akiona strength yako ataenda kukusaidia kujasiria diweze kusonga bele ni hapa roko church there is a kind of accountability ambayo utapata ukipata ukiingia katika roko church mimi ninaongea sauti naongea yenye utasikia na utaelewa hmm? nataka nikuulize swali na nikwambie swali any time huko nyumbani na umekataa kuja kanisani jumapili pili mbili imepita jumapili ya tatu ikipita eh? Eh? unasikiaga aje saa zingine ukiona hata simu ya, ya mtu ukiona simu unasikia aje eh? Eh, unasema eh wacha hiyo ilie tu sinaliaga namna hiyo saa zingine utaki hata kuchukua hiyo simu kwa sababu we, wewe mwenyewe unajua kweli kabisa sijakuja hiyo kanisa siku kadhaa kwa hivyo wewe utapigua simu ambia mwenzako utapigua simu kuulizo ulikuwa wapi accountability ujulikane uko wapi kwa jamii yako pale umetoka kuna ruru zisimewekwa pale ya kwamba ikifika saa <laughs> kwenu ni saa ngapi ikifika saa tatu geti itafungwa ama ike ama si ni sawa sawa mlango itafungwa ni lazima uwe umemeka arrangements ubebe nini ubebe kifuguo kila pahali iko na mipango hata hapa iko mipango hata biguni iko na mipango na ukijipanga vizuri hapa mbinguni utaingia kwa hivyo ewe, kama hauji kanisa uzitaabishe watu sana shika simu waambie eh waambie mtu at least muambie mimi sitakuwa kanisani ninaenda kakambeka kwani ni kakambeka bukoma Nilisikia mwingine anaita eh badala ya ya kare jaliita aje eh? hmm? amen sawa sawa so tunasema eh, tunasema ya kwamba tusizikie ai ati huyu mtu wako na shida huko kakameka huko pukoma huko pukoma Yaani yako na shida huko Bukoma. Tunauliza Bukoma hii ulienda wapi uliambia nani? Na we ni mshirika, we ni member. Sema we mimi ni member. 
Usipokuja church. Sema, ambia mtu sema tu. Haikugalimu anything. Chukua simu. Tuko na nini? Ni wangapi wako kwa war ya, ya church ya WhatsApp? Nje uh, Okay. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Kuna muda. Na hapo we, we uko. Uchae, uchae andika hapo kitu. Hata siku moja. No, uzi. Najua we uta nchapa. Uchae andika kitu hapo. Lini? Sema 19 long ago. <laughs> so, hapo unaandika unasema, eh? Mimi ni sawa. Mimi ni, ni sawa. Niombe eko. Eh? Niombe ni, ni naenda wapi? Bukoma. Kama Margaret. Margaret yako hapa. Hey, Margaret Mulwa. Ni wangapu wame ugefrai na munaio ni kimuita jina na munaio. Ni wangapu wana furai wakiitu wa jina. Siku moja, tukua na muke wangu, tulienda kusalimia pasta. Unajua, tuna, siku hizo hakukuwa na korona. Tulikuwa na salimiana kulikweli. Watu wakipita. Watu kipita. Na hapo, mimi ni, 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 ni mejifunza majina kwa hapo. Sasa, tukazikia. Pasta mesema. Mama triplet na baba triplet tukasema my god ana tujua tuli furai wewe ulisikiaje mama nisikia vizuri nisikia pasta aje 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 pasta ananijua jina yangu aje 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 asiku hiyo karibu turale na viatu ni furai sana amen ni furai sana kwa hivyo una si una furai sana si si pora Sipora, wana ito, si wana ni Sipora Mora, Mose, ye, iyo. Ya nuasikia haji mini kijua jina hako na mnio. Sini sawa, na wewe pare nyuma na mizi juu jina hako, unasikia haji. Kama ange, kama ange jua jina yangu, oh my God. Formu siko hapa, formu siko hapa, kama ujajaze, ujajaze. Hmm? Ujajaze formu hiyo. Ujurikana wewe ni nani? Ni hivyo. Ujurikana wewe ni nani? So that, nakini watu wengi uwa na wagopa, ujurikana, dia kienda, dia kienda karumaido, bas, mimi hakuna mtu wana nijua. Hii kanisa, naroko chachi hii, ukienda karumaido tukujue, tutakufuata. Tukuabia karumaido, Hapana deliver in church kia mwenye. Amen. Si tu, tu, tunawangia sasawa. Mm. So there is accountability. Na hiyo accountability kama umeokoka unahitaji. Eh, accountability hiyo kama umeokoka una, unahitaji. You need it. Tell your neighbor I need it. Eh, otherwise hiyo inakutoa nini? Inakutoa kwe kwe. Inakutoa weeds. Weeds ni nini? Nelia, eh? Eh, magugu, inaodoa magugu diyo wewe, eh? uingie muji ambao utakikani nini, magugu. Hata wanasiasa wanasema, wanasema sport, wanasema, hako na madoa doa. Yes, eh, wanasema, kama huko na chama hii, unaingia hii ingine, unaingia hii ingine, wanasema huko na nini, wanasema huko na madoa doa, unakosolewa, na biguni, Na sisi tunaenda binguni. Bibiria iko na jia ya kukosoa. You need to be accountable, my brother. Iko na jia ya kuko. Yeah. Yeah, hallelujah. Na ni vizuri tusiwa kuwage mastaburingi buroko kwa egine. Pare inche, kanisa kama hii roko church, ukionekana ukifanya dhambi, watu wanasema, ay, hiyo ni, hiyo ni deliver church kia mwenye. Yani, wewe mwenye ukifanya makosa, Ukienda kwa jibaya, wanasema, wanasema nini? Ayo ni deliverance. Mtu mungine alihua muingine, chusuju huko, kuingine. Eh? Wakajadiriana wa uane. Na kwa sababu walikuwa wamekuja hapale, mimi nikapigua simu. Nikambua mtu wako hapa, watu wako wame uwana. Hey, watu wame uwana. Sasa mimi kajido sasa watu yangu ni hani wame uwana. Kwa hivyo sasa upua pale inje ukifanya vitu vyako na vituko vyako. Kama unakujaka hii kanisa, watu wadasema, hey, deliver and sasa diyo wana, diyo wana marisaka. You know, you, you know what I mean? Don't 
be a stubborn block to other people. Uenede sawa sawa. Na kama unaendeda vibaya vibaya, eh, utaogereshwa. Kwa sababu wewe ni member wa local church. Everybody say local church. Mm. Usijari, wewe ukiitaka kuita jina ingine ite. <laughs> Lakini hii ni local local assembly. Local church. Mwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tuko na mambo mingi tunaweza weka pale na tuwezi marisa. Lakini ni vizuri usiwe eh usiwe 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 eh, stubborn broke kwa wengine. Amen. Usienende kwa jia ya dhambi alafu ufikiria tutakwambia tutakwambia. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri local church uingie na ukae pale. Accountability eh? is a very good practice and it should actually be there for anybody or everybody who wants to go to heaven. We have to have standards, heavenly standards here. Heavenly standards. Abia mwenzako, heavenly standards. Yes. Biblia inasema we keep watch over one another. Sini inasema? Galatians 6 and verse number 1. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you are you who is spiritual. Uh -huh. you know, God in any translation. You who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you may, lest you you too may be tempted. Sasa hapa ni pahari ya kuangaliana. You have to be accountable. Ukionekana ukiingia kwa transgression ama kwa sin ya inafulani utaambiwa. Ambia mwezako, mimi ni taambiwa. Sema niko ready kuabiwa. Amen. So accountability ni ya maana sana. Biblia inasema Ephesians 4 verse 2 and 3. Ephesians 4 verse 2 and 3. Biblia inasema with all holiness and gentleness, with long suffering, bearing uh, with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the board of peace. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. with, all on, with all holiness and gentleness. Eh? Hiyo ni fast gani? I want fast number three now. Zote zimeekwa pamoja. With all holiness and gentleness and long suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the board of peace. Hallelujah. Why do we need to keep peace with one another? Hapa, by the way, hii ni amana sana. Hapa ni amana sana. Hapa si pahari ya kugombana. Kugombana. Oh, mmegombana. Oh, eh? Dugu anagombana na ndugu yule mungine. Dada anagombana na yule dada mungine. Iyo ni mzuri. Ni wangapu wanasema ni mzuri. Iyo si ijia ya kuenda binguni. Hapa ni pahari tukija, mungu wanaenda kutusaidia, kusameheana. Ni lazima tuwe na upendo moja na mwingine. Na tufuate nini? Tutafute amani. You seek peace. Unatafuta peace. Unatafuta iyo amani. By the way, you unajua know, amani ya patika nagi tunamuna iyo. Inatafutua. Ambia mwezako, inatafutua. Ukiona mmoja hako na shida na wewe, eh? enda kwa ke tu muombe ya kusamehe. Unaomba tu, oi, dugu, nisamehe. Hata ukikanyanga mutu. Hata mutu wake kuambia hapa. Hakuambia, <coughs> wea. Kwa niyo ni maniangalia vibaya. Unamuambia. Utamuambia aji. Wacha nisikie. Mmoja atasema na mnumusi uge. Uge. Leo, 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 tuna, leo tuko na neema hiyo. Eh? Siju nda uliza nani. Wacha. Eh? Wacha ni ulize. Wacha ni ulize. Haya, mtu wakikuagalia, wakikuagalia wana kama wakikuagalia vibaya. Wakikuagalia vibaya. Kwa nini wana kikuagalia vibaya? Utamuambia aje? Oh, nisamehe, ni macho tu. Ah. <laughs> Amen. Uwezi muambia? Uwezi muambia? Uwezi muambia? Uwezi muambia? Ukiona na kuagalia, ulikuwa na angalia wapi? Sasa hiyo, hiyo inaleta nini? Hiyo inaleta vita. Wewe unatafuta amani. So you seek peace. Ingia jia ya upendo. Ukiingia jia ya upendo, iko na amani. Eh, hey, 
hata mwambie na mwambie mwambie nizamehe na nina kupenda tu amen hapa ni pari ya kupendana bwana kwa sababu upendo upendo uko na na gharama yake kama unapenda there is a sacrifice na sacrifice hiyo ni kuja chini ukiona hapa watu wana argue hey wengine wana argue eh? eh? ni ruto ni ruto ni ruto ru, 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 ruto ni, ni ruto oh. hey baka baka jamani naona natoa shati kwa sababu <laughs> wewe ulikataa kusema ni ruto na mwingine anasema ni laida hapa si pari pa siasa Mungu atusaidie Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Mungu atusaidie ukiinua mambo ya dunia namna hiyo yanaleta argument kubwa sana mambo ya dunia yanaleta argument lakini mambo ya Biblia uwezi ona pahali yanaleta argument mambo ambayo yamefunikwa eh, na, na kupigwa rangi ya, ya, ya upendo yamejengwa na kupigwa rangi ya upendo mi nataka kukuambia hiyo haitaleta argument. Na ukiona pa adventure muna argue na mtu, ndugu muli argue mpaka akatoa macho, eh? Ndugu muli muli argue mpaka akaanza kutoa sweat. Utamwagusha. Kwa hivyo the basic thing ni mwambie nisamehe, <laughs> nisamehe. <laughs> Sijui ni nani tuache tukojee Mungu. Eh, you know, uacha hiyo argument. Hiyo hiyo argument haifanyiki vizuri sana katika katika kanisa local church eh yeah. look at your neighbor mwambie i love you my neighbor i love you mm, i love you eh, hapa hapa ni pahali unafoziwa kupenda unafoziwa kupenda mtu hata kama hakai vile unataka mm? ame acha ninamalizia hii sasa Siku ya kwanza wakati ulienda pahali unafanya kasi ulionekana namna gani ama pahali ulienda shule Siku ya kwanza ulipoenda hapo watu walikuona wanakaa namna gani Mimi hmm? hmm? nataka kuwasaidia watu wa Mungu Siku ya kwanza wakati niliingia Everredi Siku ni masahau kunyoa au nilikuwa nimeoka jeshi Sikuwa nimezahau kunyoa sasa nimenyoa mpaka ile kabisa nayo. Nanyoa pale. Eh, watu waliniita kamudhigari. You know? Waliona mimi kitu kingine kapa hii. Sasa hii mtu ametoka wapi? Hii mtu atakani kuwa hapa. You know, any time you go somewhere ukiwa mpya na hujaonekana siku nyingine, you look the ugliest person there. The ugliest. In fact, hata unaonekana ai, unaonekana namna gani? He, kama siku ya kwanza niliona hagai. Amen. Huyu ni mtoto yangu hata Mungu alinipea huyu. Sasa nika nikaambiwa hiyo ni yako. Sisi siku ya kwanza kumuona nimeangalia nikasema Waliona wanipea huyu tu <laughs> Amen Ninatoa example Natoa example Siku ya kwanza wewe kuona mwenzako ndugu yako huyu ukiingia kwa kama hapa uingie Unasikia? Ah huyu anaitwa? <laughs> huyu ni frani na huyu ndiye neighbor yako. Huyu ndiye neighbor yako. Unamwangalia unasema, "Ai! Sasa hii mtu haya kesho kuja. Muangalie, kuna mambo inabadilika as you continue. As you continue. Kwa hivyo usiangalie mtu mara ya kwanza uone kama yeye si beautiful. Wewe pia anakuona mara ya kwanza anaona wewe si Kwa hivyo inakubidi wewe eh usijaji siku hiyo endelea kukaa endelea kukaa Mimi sikujua huyu mtu anaweza ibisha hapa sisi zote tunalala Sikujua Inaitaka namna hiyo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana The first time you see somebody 
your brother huyu mimi nakwambia uangalie kando kwa sababu nataka awe your prayer partner eh huyo mwenye huyo huyo mko naye amen usimwangalie uone ni mbaya muangalie positively na utaona yeye yeah, ni fearfully and wonderfully created to be a blessing to you mimi nimeongeza hapo to be a blessing to you kila mtu akivi yake wacha nikuambie biblia inasema we are fearfully and wonderfully lakini wewe waukai kama mimi hakuna mtu anafanana na mimi kwa hii nyumba hata hostel Hakuna hakuna mtu anafanana na mwingine mimi matrip to trip rate wetu hakuna Kenya kanafanana na kale kengine Hakuna mtu aliulbwa eh anafanana na mwingine Kwa hivyo wewe hutabadilisha vile Mungu alifanya Sasa huyu dugu yako unaona hapo ni beautiful vile yako Hata si hadi some beautiful muangalie muambie you are beautiful Kila kitu kila kitu Mungu aliuba alisema ah goja kila kitu Mungu aliuba alisema ni ni good good na beautiful zinakaa pamoja eh ijalishi hata kama wewe ni mweusi na mna gani kama 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 nani huyu haijalishi yeye ni ndugu yangu na mimi ndugu yake Ulikitukuta ukitukuta pamoja unashangaa. Hawa watu ni kama waliubwa nini? Pamoja. Hata wewe wakati tulionana siku ya kwanza zilikuwa ngumu sana. Aha. <laughs> Amen. Ni kila mtu anakaa kivu yake. Mimi nakaa kivu yangu wewe unakaa kivu. You know hatufanani. Na mimi nakwacha nikwambie kwa kitu kingine ambayo hujajua. Ya kwamba kama tugev tuge zote tugefanana Mungu hangependa sisi. Angeangalia hii dunia aseme hii dunia ni hii, hii dunia ni very boring. Anataka kuona mwingine macho ni kubwa kama yangu. Anataka kuona ingine eh ulimi ingine ya mwingine akitoa inafika hapa. Yaani you know. Anataka kuona hiyo. It is God himself who has designed it like that. And even in the local church we have to appreciate one another the way we are. We are fearfully and wonderfully created. Ni yeah, hata kama huyu huyu Jeptao ni mkubwa ni munene kwa kwaya anakaa kama madha yao inatakana hivyo kama hagekuwa hako hiyo kwaya ingekuwa namna gani haina mtu mkubwa wote ni tuwe baba so hi eh hii ingekuwa bori sisi saa zingine unaangalia unaona una lake hayuko unaona lake hayuko eh una mist amen so inakaa namna hiyo kwa hivyo tupendane ambia mwenzako nipende tu Eh, eh, mwambie tu Margaret ambia mwenzako hapo nipende tu na kana namna hiyo unachagua utabadilisha hata ukitaka hata ukienda binguni ukuje hapa utabadilisha sote ni tofauti na vile unaona tuko tofauti namna hiyo ndio vipao vyetu viko tofauti contribution zetu katika local church ni tofauti vile zizi ni tofauti hmm? mimi nikifagia hapa Sitafagia kama yule mwingine alifagiaga. Mimi nikiruka, sitaruka kama pira huyu ruka. Eh? <laughs> Una kina wanaruka namna hii na inakaa sawa. Yote ni kuruka. Tunaambiwa turuke kimasai na utaona wengine wanaruka namna hii. Sasa unaona? Eh? Na hiyo inatia fora. Mwenye anaruka namna hii nakaa sawa sawa. Mwenye anaruka sawa, bora tuliru inakaa hivyo Mungu akiwa biguni anasema kweli waliruka Lakini kama ni muruko moja anasema hii ni boring So tu kutafauti Kuna mwingine anahubiri hapa eh anahubiri kabisa anahubiri watu wote wanarara akisha akisha Marisa anamwambia sasa naweza amuka Na alihubiri si alihubiri Wenye walipata wali aliupili ni tofauti huo utofauti ndio unajenga mwili wa Kristo eh yes. huo utofauti ni mawe 
ni mawe ya kudumu. Bethwell. Si ni sawa? Eh? Eh? Bethwell akiiba hapa. Eh? Una By the way nani anakanagu huko nani eh? We are missing you in the choir, sir. Eh? Kwa sababu kuruka kwake ni tofauti, kuiba kwa Bethwell ni tofauti, choir inakuwa ni sawa sawa. Eh? Suguti zini sawa? Eh? Inaenda namna hiyo. Kwa hivyo watu wa Mungu tupendane tu. Hata kama mimi nimetoka Nyarugunga, hata mimi nimekaa nimetoka eh, kwetu nilisahau na wapi? Eh, wapi? Hata mimi nilisahau. Ukija Rift Valley inaenda. Na ni vizuri tusijikumbukane bali tulitoka. Amen. So it doesn't matter. Eh, tulitoka Nyahuru nimekumbuka. Eh? <laughs> Amen. Watu wa Mungu mume. Memba. Sema mimi ni memba wa hii local church. Hii local church. Amen. Mtu mwingine aliniambia zamani zile. Eh, akasema wakika pastor kainua mkono. Alikuwa anakaa kona ile. Akasema Uzi hata uzi hata usizidi kusema sana mimi nitajenga huo ukuta mpaka hapo hivi na nileta viti hapo watu wangu wakaage hapo mimi na watu wangu tunakaa hapa pale hey na watu wengine wakasema mimi nitajenga pande hii ndio watu wangu wakae mwingine hivyo nikawaambia basi 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 wacheni tutoe kila mtu mawe moja moja tukatoa mawe moja moja tukimeweka hivi tunawaka kila mtu aliyajibi kwa sababu sisi ni kitu moja. Watu wa Mungu bwana azifiwe. Ha, pigia Yesu makofi. Na wangapi wamefurahia? Na wangapi wanaamini tumehubiri? Basi, umesikia kuna kitu ime umeenda nyumbani umeshiba? Wacha basi nimalizie. Sasa katika loko church tunatoaga Local church tunalipa fugu la kumi. Haya hii 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 hi, hi, baada wameitikia. Aha. Kuna kutoa katika local church. Kuna kutoa katika local church. Kuna kulipa fugu la kumi katika Na wakati unatoa hiyo katika local church hautolei nani? Unatolea nani? Kama unataka kubalikiwa usiangalie mchungaji. Kwa sababu hiyo ni kutegemea nani? Mtu. Jeremiah 17:8 huko 7 and 8. Amen. Tunaingia katika nyumba ya nani? Na niliwaambia kabisa hapa si kwangu. Hapa si kwangu. Ni kuwajibika tu tunaajibika ya kwamba uwezi beba kiti ati kwa sababu wewe ni memba. Kama wewe ni memba wa hii kanisa inua mkono. Uwezi beba kiti useme ati ah, mimi ni memba pia. Hizi viti za baba yangu. Sisi tuko hapa naye Mungu alitupea jukumu ya kusema kweli uweze baba beba kiti hapa. Tumekataa. Kwa hivyo tumepewa responsibility. Hii nyumba ni ya mwenyewe Mungu lakini tumepewa responsibility ya kwamba uwezi beba kiti. Ama uwezi beba mic. Useme hii ni ya baba yangu. Uwezi chukua kamera kama hii useme he. Wacha hata mimi niende naye kwa sababu kuna watu wameajibika mahali hapa. Si kwetu. Ukitoa unatolea nani? Mungu. Kwa hivyo tukitoa leo ujue unatoa utoi hata kama memba unatoa kama eh mshirika ama believer kulingana na nini na maandiko kwa sababu katika local church we are not governed by who we are or where we are coming from we are governed by the rules of the word of god amen so si lazima kuibwe wimbo mnisamehe si lazima kuibwe wimbo ambayo unaibagwa hapa wewe ni memba wa kanisa hili 
Si lazima kuibwe wibo. Toa dugu, toa dada. Wengine wamekuangalia na macho ya usuni. Ndio utoe. Akiiba toa dugu, toa dada. Hakuna. If you are a member of this church, lift your hand and say, Amen. Amen. Watoto wetu watakulia hapa, Amen. Amen. Eh? Baraka zetu ziko hapa, Amen. Amen. Ushidi wetu huko hapa, Amen. Amen. Uponyo wetu huko hapa, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, ni hapa. Utabarikiwa ni hapa. Asubuhi tuliobea mmoja akiwa hospitalini. Eh? Na tunaamini amepona. Eh? Hapa kuna corporate anointing that we need to take advantage of. Corporate anointing. It doesn't matter hati kama ni mimi niko hapa. Kuna corporate anointing. Yayote abaya taabiwa aja ombe. Itatendeka katika jina la Yesu. Because it's not about personality. It's not about personality. It is about eh, the anointing of God in this place. Haijarishi wewe ni nani? Mwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Wewe kwa sababu ya corporate anointing ambayo iko hapa na corporate de, you know ne, grace ambayo Mungu ameweka hapa. Uwezi to ingia ukiwa mgojwa. Na harabu utoke ukiwa unaumia. Tumekataa katika jina la Yesu. Wewe ulieingia pale ukiwa na nini? Siku ya leo unapoondoka utaondoka Bwana akiwa amekutimizia katika jina la Yesu. Wewe ulieingia hapa ukiwa unatarajia kupona ninatangaza uponyo juu ya maisha yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti. Haleluya. Umebarikiwa kwa kuingia tu hapa kwa sababu ya corporate anointing ambayo inafanya kazi mahali hapa. Wewe umebarikiwa katika jina la Yesu. Amen. It is planting time. Hallelujah. Amen and amen.